Alright, what's going on, folks? Um, it's your boy PKZ, Chris Kazama. And, uh, I've been meaning to make a video like this for a while, because I really didn't get a chance to talk about these two handhelds, but today, I want to make a video talking about these two handhelds, and I'm not going to get into sales, I'm not going to get into, you know, just different stuff that a lot of people get into. I'm going to talk about quality, as far as games, and my experience with these two handhelds, and what I think uh, these two handhelds are good for, and uh, which one is better. So, here we have the PS Vita, and here we have the 3DS. Both I've had ample enough time to play with. I've had this one since, was it November, or around the beginning of December. Bought this one, I actually don't, I, I know, I, oh, I remember, I bought this one around February. Yeah, I remember that because I got my tax money and that's what I bought. So I'm gonna be talking about these two and give you guys my thoughts because when I um I didn't even do an unboxing for any of these and um I didn't really give you guys any thoughts about what I thought about any of them because I wanted time. I didn't want to see. I, I see a lot of people on YouTube. They make videos and either they don't take enough time to either play with the game, and I know I just did that with the Walking Dead game, but that shit was trash to begin with, I already knew that, but a lot of people, they don't take enough time to play the game, and they, like, give, like, that first impression as a review, and I don't want to do that, I wanted to have enough time to play with both of these handhelds to give you guys a accurate view of what I think, and that's what I'm doing today, so, 3DS versus the Vita, I'm gonna start with the 3DS. Got a 3DS around, uh, November. Yeah, November. I wanted it as a Christmas present, so I bought that. And, um, you know, when I first seen the 3DS, I think it was like last year, beginning of last year, Trey and Baron was trying the hardest to get me to get this shit for Resident Evil Revelations, which I'm just gonna say that's a good game, but that is the most overrated shit ever. I'm so sorry, and I know people are gonna be pissed when I say that, but Resident Evil Revelations is very overrated. Like people was talking about, oh yeah, this is the best Resident Evil game that we had in years. Don't get me don't get me wrong. It's a good Resident Evil game, but it is very overrated. That that they they blew that shit out the water. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is overrated. That no. No. Because they, they I guess they said that that game brought the fear back in Resident Evil. Personally, I didn't fear shit. I played the game. It was a good game. That's about it. But, so, yeah, um, they were trying to get me to buy the 3DS for uh, Revelations. I'm not, I'm not buying that shit for one fucking game. I want to wait and see what other games they have. So, I've been looking, and they had the Mario Karts. I'm like, eh, okay, well, I played Mario Karts, whatever. And then, they announced that Luigi's Mansion 2 was dropping, which I just copped. You guys didn't see the video. I'll leave it in the description. I mean, the video response below. They said that they released the Luigi's Mansion 2, and I'm like, okay. And they said on the 3DS. I'm like, fuck. Damn. Nah, I gotta buy one. And that's the thing that I like about the 3DS, and that's the thing I like about Nintendo, is with their handhelds and with their franchises, the way they have it set up is they will release a certain franchise on their home system, and they will turn around and release that sequel on their portable system. So, like, I play Luigi's Mansion on GameCube, and I'm like, cool, this is a fun-ass fucking game. When it's 2 coming out, 2 drop, it's on the 3DS. Now I gotta buy one. Bought that. So the games that I really played on the 3DS um, are Paper Mario Sticker Star. I popped 30 hours in that game. That is a fucking good game. And I tell you guys all the time, I really don't mess with 2D Mario games, and that's kind of 2D stylish, but... They kind of switched it. If you ever played Paper Mario again, you know what I'm talking about. But you go around collecting stickers. It's like turn-based fighting. It has a great story to it. I like it. Very platformish. I like it. It's a good game. Um, Resident Evil Revelations, definitely a good game. Like I said, overrated to me, in my opinion. But it's still a good game. Um, what else did I play? I played Kid Icarus. Good game. Um, I played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, 64. With 3DS or whatever. That was always a good game to begin with. And I got Luigi's Mansion. 
And I'm loving it. It's a fucking good game. I'll bring you guys a review soon and tell you guys what I think about it. Um, I still got to get Fire Emblem. Never played Fire Emblem. Played the demo. Liked the shit. Just this March was the month of just a clusterfuck of games. So I literally had to wait. So I'm still picking that up. That That's a good game. Um, but as, as far as the 3DS in, in, in general, oh, I got to close that because I've got Dr. E that is fucking calling me. He called you every two damn seconds in this fucking game. But, um, as far as the 3DS, um, you know, it's bulky. Um, you know, navigating around things inside the menu and stuff in the 3DS is, is pretty easy. Um, it's a lot of things that I personally don't look at in the 3DS. It's the same way with the Vita. Um, but it's a great portable. I like it, you know. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. I, I see a lot of people doubted it the first year it came out, but me now having, you know, getting it when I, while there's enough games out that support it for me to go out and buy it and a lot of franchises that's out and it's still coming out later that I can go support and go buy. I have no problem with 3DS. I like 3DS. And I was collecting dust. Like I said, it's been a clutch to fuck the fucking games that came out. And most of the games that I had, I already beat them, so I had to wait. And that's why I was glad Luigi's Mansion came out. So I caught that. So I'm playing that right now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing that for a while. So that's my whole uh, thing with the 3DS. Now let's talk about the PS Vita. Um, bought the PS Vita in... When did I buy the PS Vita? I bought the PS Vita in February. And... Let's see, what games did I get for it? I got PlayStation All-Stars, played at that on a Vita and a PS3. Um, I got Gravity Rush, definitely a good game, still got to play it. The game that really pulled me in with the Vita is Wipeout 2048. Never really got into the series. Somehow, I downloaded that game because they had the, uh, you know, the PlayStation Plus, the whole free uh, game thing. So I went on there to see what they had. I tried Uncharted, but I was pretty burnt out on Uncharted. So I was like, eh, I'll delete this. And plus, the shit was 3.2 gigs. And um, my memory card at the time was only 4. I got an 8 gig now. And um, I was like, yeah, I can wait on Uncharted. I've played it enough. So, But I played Wipeout. I mean, I'm on there playing it, you know, racing time, shit like that. You know, it is a great-ass game. Like I said, I had Gravity Rush. That's a good game. Got PlayStation All-Stars. Got Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. Still haven't got into it. Maybe because I just haven't sat down and really played it. Because I'm a Sly Cooper fan. But I, I haven't really sat down and really got into it. Now, uh, as far as navigating around the PS Vita, it's pretty cool. You turn the PS Vita on, they, they uh, bring you to this thing called Welcome Park. And uh, they just show you different features and stuff, like how to use the backpack. And, um, you know, the microphones and, you know, just the, uh, the side axis and different stuff like that. And that was pretty cool. And, um, what else? Let's see what else they got in here. Because, um, the one thing I didn't really like about the Vita is the fact that how you sign on. Is you have to click the friends bubble to sign on. I thought that was stupid. They should have just added a sign on button. Uh, now, what I do like, I do like this. This shit is killing the fucking PS3. Now, with the X of me on the PS3 is, you know, when, you, when you're playing a game and you're trophy horn, because I did my fair share of trophy horn on the PS3 with PlayStation All-Stars, but it was so easy because all I had to do was click a game. Oh, as a matter of fact, I had Mortal Kombat on PS3 too, but I already took it back because I was like, I already got it on PS3. But anyway, when I was trophy horn, all I had to do was click PlayStation All-Stars, Start that up, hit the PlayStation button, flip over, hit the trophy tab, let the trophies pop up, go to the PlayStation All-Stars trophy list, and I can just go back and forth and see what trophies I like. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> that, that dude, I love that. Like, I, the navigation through the PlayStation Vita is, is fucking smooth. I, I love it. Um, now let's talk about games. Now, like I said, the whole 3DS, um... The games were good with the 3DS. I have no problem. More games are coming out. The thing with the Vita, I have not played a Vita game that really, really, really pulled me in to the handheld like the 3DS did. The game that pulled me into the 3DS was Paper Mario Sticker Star. Because I, I popped 30 hours in that. Like, that game is fucking hot. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. 
Paper Mario Sticky Star is fucking hot. I love that game. And I'm seeing the same shit that's about to happen with Luigi's Mansion. Just straight up. Uh, one of the reasons why I got the PSV is because I seen a trailer for a game that Media Molecule is developing. And this game is called Tearaway. If you not check that trailer out, go check that trailer out. Fucking game looks amazing. Crazy ass platform. Just fucking insane. And Media Molecule, when they make games, this shit is always so creative. It, 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 I, I, I can't wait. Like, when I see it, I'm like, damn. I gotta go get a PS Vita soon. And it was the same way with 3DS. You know, I wasn't like, you know, I'm not gonna go buy a handheld. Or I'm not gonna go buy a system for one fucking game. If I feel like, you know, that's the same way I feel with the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360, I went and bought it. They had a few exclusives. I played them. The only exclusive that I really like, like, on there is Alan Wake. Um, Left 4 Dead is cool. But if I feel like I can get the same experience on the main console that I'm playing, why keep the other one? The same way I feel. So, I mean, I had to pawn the X my Xbox for a different reason. Personal reasons. We'll get to that later. Um, but... I just didn't really feel the need to have it, you know, as much as my PS3. If I had to choose which one to get rid of right now, as far as those two, sad to say it'd be a PS Vita. Because it, there is no game that has really pulled me into it, you know what I'm saying? It's a great handheld. And like I said, when I seen that trailer, I'm like, cool. And now um, they're starting to announce more things that come to the PS Vita, like, for example, uh, The Walking Dead by the Tell Games is coming to the PS Vita. That's pretty cool. I have to check that out. Um, Jack, the Jack and Dexter collection is coming to the PS Vita. That's pretty cool. I like that. But, you know what I'm saying? I think they just need to get more Vita games under their belt, you know? And, you know, with that whole press conference thing, I thought they were going to announce some, you know, PlayStation Vita things besides the fact that you'll be able to stream PS4 games on the PS Vita. And like I said before, you know, everybody's going to go out and pick up a PS Vita now because you can stream games from the PlayStation 4 or PS Vita. You shouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't want to go pick up one of those just for that reason. I wouldn't want to pick it up for the sole purpose of it being a handheld. You know, now everybody's going to run out and pick one up. I got to pick one. I can stream one. Like, no, that, that remote play shit, that's cool. But what is the Vita going to do for you, period, besides streaming? It's going to sing and collect dust. I don't want things to sing and collect dust, because when you collect dust, you go back to GameStop. That's my rule. You want to sing and collect dust, I don't play you, back to GameStop, you go. <laughs> That's how I feel, you know. So, um, you know, Vita has some games. I'm not going to say it doesn't have any games. It has some games. It just hasn't had, It doesn't have those games that really pull people in. That's how I feel. And that's why it really has low sales right now. Like I said, I'm not going to get into sales and anything like that. I'm just keeping it real. So, for right now, when it comes to the PS Vita versus the 3DS, the 3DS is better. Because the simple fact it has a better library of games, a more interesting library of games than we see on the PS Vita. When we see on the PS Vita, we see a lot of games that we've seen on consoles before. The Kill Zones. Even though Kill Zone Mercenaries is coming out in September, I am looking forward to that. But we see more quality on the 3DS than the PS Vita because we see pretty much the same experiences, the Resistances, the Uncharted, the Kill Zones. You know, we pretty much see the same things that we see on consoles. And another thing is, uh, what I do like is the fact that most of the exclusives, they come with a PlayStation 3 version and a PS Vita version. I do like that, but at the same time, though, it's like, you know, you're trying to basically slide games in for the PS Vita that's coming out on a PS3, but you're not working on games for, solely for the purpose of the PS Vita. That's what I'm saying. You know, most of these games, like I said before, I, that's why I like what Nintendo's doing. It's a slick-ass business move, but it's smart as fuck at the same time because they're not going to let you, oh yeah, you're not going to play Luigi's Mansion 2 on the Wii U. You're going to play it on the 3DS. You want to play Luigi's Mansion that bad, you're going to go pick up a, a, a 3DS. You want to play the new Paper Mario so bad, you're going to pick it up on the 3DS. You want to play the new Fire Emblem so bad, you're going to pick it up on the 3DS. They're not going to give you that choice like the PlayStation 3 and the PS Vita give you. So that's my whole thing on the uh, the PS Vita and the 3DS. That's how I feel about both of them.
Um, that's my thoughts. You guys leave in the comment section below. I know a lot of my subs have um, PlayStation Vitas and 3DSs, so you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think. And that's it. And uh, the end of the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Support the links in the description. Facebook, Twitter, all that type of stuff. It's PKZ Chris Kazama. Peace.